I must tell you that I'm so excited. Actually, this is my first time I'm doing this, but I'm so, so, so excited. I mean, considering the fact that castor oil is sold for a minimum of 3,500 naira. I mean, <clears throat> right now you have some people selling it for 4,000 naira. I saw it on Jimmy as 4,000 naira. And I was looking for the cheapest price, more like the best price so far. And I found it for 3,500 naira. I mean, considering the fact that I spent just 2,000 naira to get it done. I'm so impressed, very, very impressed. See, you say it's Jamaican black castor oil. I have done the Jamaican black castor oil right here in Nigeria. We have the resources. You don't have to do it in Jamaica. The thing, the thing is this, I'm sure since the Jamaicans have, um, um, do I say an African descent? So probably this thing was taken over there and planted and it actually grew there. Whatever. However it is, it came about. But the bottom line is this. We have this um, seed here and we know it as Ogiri in our place. I don't know what they call it in Yoruba land and how it's uh, wherever it is. But I know it is obtainable in Nigeria like I showed you earlier. And this is what I got out of it. From that which I bought. Now... This is my vitamin E um, oil container and it's finished and the vitamin E is about 118 mils, if you can see it properly, as well as um, 4 ounces, 4 ounces, fluid ounces. And you know that is the amount, that's a, the, the exact amount of the Jamaican uh, castor oil, I mean whatever it is, they are in two grades, they are in two quantities. There's the four ounces and then there's the eight ounces, and this is it and I'm almost done. This is like two third of this container and we know definitely that they won't, uh, whosoever it is that is filling it up, the company will not fill it up to the brim. So let's just say this is two third of this, let me just dash it, that this is two third, let me give it to them that this is two third of it. See, check it out. This is the one that is left of it, of which I still have some in the pot that I wasn't able to harvest. I use the word harvest because it's, it's a painstaking, um, do I say, experience, but it's worth every moment of it, considering the amount you're going to spend. Dedicate time for it. Now, check this out. This is my bio oil container, which is done. The reason why I'm using a transparent um, bottle is because if I use a dark bottle, you might not understand. I might not communicate. Now, check this out. This is bio oil, 125 mils. I have 125 mils here and almost 118 mils. Then if I had taken time to get all of the oil from, extract all of the oil, if I had taken time to extract all of the oil and I'm not so much in a hurry to share my success with you, I'm sure I would have gotten this filled up. So, I have gotten the exact amount of, um, of, of um, castor oil, which would have cost me a minimum of 3,500 naira, as that's much, not now that um, things are more expensive after going through the pandemic. Okay, let's just say 3,500 naira is the basic price. And then this, which is way more than 3,500 naira. So my people, like I said earlier, we are looking for the best way to get things done. The cheapest way to get things done. If you have the time, you can put the castor oil on fire, the, the, the castor beans on fire. And go and do your laundry. Check it from time to time. You don't have to sit down and watch your it. You know, at the end of the day, you've spent your time waiting for the castor oil as well as doing other things getting yourself and get in, engaged in other activities you can actually ask someone to watch over it for you and then when the time is right i mean when you have the oil floating you can go ahead and harvest it i call it harvesting because <laughs> it's quite an experience i really love this experience i'm so happy with myself that i don't have to spend three thousand five hundred naira to get four ounces of castor oil is it called four ounce 118 mils <laughs> of castor oil and I can get this much out of it. I mean, what do you say? What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? I mean, what are we waiting for? So why spend more when you can get it for less?
I know you're not one of those who just watch um, or go through um, a content like this which would actually help you and has exposed you to something new and then you just get the knowledge and then you pass by. You know, the only way to kind of pat a content creator on the back is to comment. Say something. There's something going on inside that you want to share. Say it. Is it a good content? Say it. If you have other ideas, say it. And do not forget to subscribe. Some of us just go through and we don't subscribe. Let's grow this channel. It's possible. Yes, it is. So, share. Comment. However it is. Let's keep going. So, let's go into the video. So, now we are ready to make the castor oil. We have to start by removing every dirt from it, including broken shells, and we have to select them off, including stones. As you can see, my fingers are a little dirty. So after cleaning, it's ready for roasting. So here is the charcoal. This is what 300 naira. Depending on your location, it could be less, it could be more, but. I actually needed a charcoal worth 300 now. The reason why I'm doing this is because I don't want to spend so much on my gas. So I'm doing my best possible to reduce the cost of production of this. And if you have um, firewood, you can go ahead and use it. But the charcoal was better for me. So if you have a charcoal still go ahead. That's best for you. So now on low heat. We are roasted. I like to do this on low heat so as to extract the oil from the beans. I rather do it gradually than keeping it on a very high heat. Either way, it works. It depends on how long did you spend on this process, and it would help us. Can see, it's low, and to help us to make it easier to blend. Now on my dry meal, I'm blending. If not for the fact that I roasted earlier, it wouldn't be this easy to blend. So if you don't have a dry meal, you can always pound with your mortar. Originally in Jamaica, they pound with a mortar until they get what they want. So that's to tell you that even if you don't have it, you can always use your mortar. You can only put your blended castor beans in boiling water. So ensure you make sure it's boiled first and then you cook. So at this point, my castor beans it's already inside the hot water and I'm trying to clean up the lumps in it. Right now it's boiling and as it boils the the oil comes to the surface. You see that thick substance on the surface? Can you see it? I mean those liquid gathering on the surface, that's a castor oil. So you have to scoop it out with your spoon gradually into a different pot like I've done here. This is just a little of it. There's more in it. But at this point, it is dry. All is not lost. All is not lost. You can see some little oil there. So while it's still hot in the pot, you have to pour water into it, cold water into it, stir it and let it settle. As it settles, you see more oil. You see more oil coming out, but I still have to stir. This way you get everything, everything. You can do this like two times, three times, you still get oil out of it. If you let it settle, you still get oil out of it. It's not going back to the fire. All I'm going to do now is allow it to settle and then I scoop out more oil from the surface. 
now we settle can you see oil on the surface and then gradually I scoop this out into a different pot So this is how much I've gotten for now and it is back on the charcoal stove. So after putting it back on the fire to dry and this is what I have with some residue which I'll gradually remove from the surface. Believe me when I say this is plenty, even though it looks small. After doing this, you find out how much we have here. So with the cheese cloth, we have to strain the oil and separate it from the rest of it, the deaths or anything. Do you know that castor oil is excellent for relief whenever you have any bites on your skin? I mean, it's it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful oil. It's very surprising because whenever you're itching on your skin and you apply it in seconds, you get okay, you get comfortable. I know that castor oil has always been known for its health care and health um, benefits especially for your digestive system it's also good for the hair that is what we are mostly you know familiar with but for your skin it gives you a very smooth skin and, and I came across the saying that it eliminates white heads I don't know how to read this when you apply it over the night you get better I had it falls upon its own after a morning bath so that's about it for now, see you in the next video.